in Japan and we are ready to thrift. If you know me, I love thrifting and so this is the place to be apparently. I'm gonna take you all along with me on my shopping journey, my thought process, if I get anything, a try and haul, all of that good stuff, but let's see what we can find. I usually never look for graphic tees, but I didn't bring a single graphic tee on this trip. Like, my pajamas is like a cute two-piece, and honestly, it's kind of cold at nighttime, so maybe we can find a cute one here. If you know me, my favorite color is green, girl, so let's see. Hmm. I don't know, usually a graphic tee has to spark joy and like mean something to me low-key. I don't want it to be random, but I have so many like anime ones at home. I will say I've also been in a vest kick lately, but these ones are like a fisherman vests, and that's not the vibe. And these are like fleecy denims are cute but I already have some at home so love me a good rugby shirt as I'm wearing one right now see I like the idea of striped polos and stuff but I almost feel like it makes me look like a little boy like young I mean as I'm wearing a striped polo right now but the colors are just what makes it look young like I don't know it almost reminds me of like Caillou Blues clues, you feel? Got a lot of fun windbreakers over here, very retro. I freaking love leather jackets, but I have so many at home, and also this would be so heavy to like pack and carry home. I would probably have to wear this on the plane, but girl, I'd be sweating my butt off. So I didn't really find much in that store. It was very like chill stuff, and I already have a lot of like pullovers, hoodies, jackets, t-shirts. I want something like unique, one of a kind, I can't find in the US, so let's see if we can find something that's just sickening, girl. Let's go and see what this store has to offer. Ooh, yeah, they have women's stuff, and I think that's what it is. I need women's stuff. I am a sucker for skirts. I love skirts, so maybe we can find another one when I really don't need any more. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is like a denim skirt, but it has like an extra type of fabric and some like button detailing. Kind of fun, kind of cool. This shirt is so cute and rainbow. This would be perfect for pride. Ooh, girl, they got some Vivian Westwood up in this bitch, but this is not my size. Ooh, I kind of like these cargo pants. Usually I can't fit men's though, so they might be too big for me, girl. When it's nice to have things in mind, and when you go shopping, that way it's easier to find things without like going in aimlessly. I mean, that could be fun too, but for me, I think I'm looking for like maybe cargo pants, and I like skirts, and some unique jacket or top. Ooh, also I've been really into like slip skirts, lace, girly, frilly, Wednesday Adams, maybe even vibes. So let's see if we can manifest some good stuff. The people here dress so freaking good. Like, look at these guys in front of me. Mm, hello, boys. I just had the cutest conversation with this guy. I asked him to take photos. And he's like, oh, where are you from? Where are you staying? And I just love the people here. They're so kind. He was so cute, but he said he was visiting his girlfriend. Okay, boy. Like, I see you. I just walked past this and I was like, this is so cute. It's basically what I'm wearing, but pink. But I think it's a size small and I want it like oversized, like a large at least. But this store looks pretty cool. They got like vintage looking belts, tees. Ooh, it's a vibe, low key. This store is so organized. Like this is where all of the cat sweaters are. Oh my God, there's puppies. See, now this vibe is promising. Like the ruffles and the lace, the textures, the colors, I live for it. Is this not giving Howl's Moving Castle vibes? Like it's giving Studio Ghibli. Ended up trying on the pink shirt. Honestly, it's not a bad fit. It's like not as oversized as the other one, but maybe you want a different type of fit so we can have diversity. Y'all, they have a second street here, and they have these in California, and I think it started in Japan. And so we're gonna go and see the authentic second street in person. Ooh. Girl, these don't fit. I'm eating too good here in Japan, fuck. Didn't find anything at Second Street, unfortunately, and it's kind of disappointing when you want to go shopping, you're in the mood to, but you can't find anything. But I just want to be really selective and conscious of what I purchase and put into my wardrobe for the environment, my wallet. Now this is a boy store, girl. Ooh, honey. Wait, I just realized there's a second floor to Second Street. <gasps> girl, okay, shit. Maybe not all hope is lost. Oh, girl, I might have hit the jackpot, honestly. Shoot, look at the options now. <gasps> also, it came during Golden Week, which is like a holiday I did not realize. And so some stores are closed, but some stores are open with deals. Do I wear yellow? No, but is this pretty? Yes. Oh, this is giving Taylor Swift 
meet me at midnight. Ugh. Ooh, bless me. Okay, Wednesday Adams, I see you, girl. Here we are trying on this skirt. It's cute, but I just don't wear yellow. I don't know how to style it. I wish it was just like white or a different color, maybe. Hmm. When shopping for vintage, I genuinely love old stuff. Like this stuff, you can you can smell it when it's old. You know what I mean? Like that scent, you're like, that's grandma's. One in the afternoon, it is popping now. People are out and about, stores are opening up. I will say that a lot of these stores are like street style and geared more towards like a masculine vibe, if that's your style. Um, and so I'm having a hard time trying to find something because it's like, I want something sick in it, you know what I mean? Made it into a random thrift shop, but oh my goodness, it's freaking bunnies as oranges on this dress. Ariana, what are you doing here? You walk into a store thinking it would be cute, but the price tag ain't cute. Some of these stores are expensive, girl. They're like 98, $100. Like, ma'am, this is vintage. Whoa, now this store is edgy, girl. It's like dark and moody up in here. Ooh, honey. I'm low key at a point where I'm getting shopping exhaustion, where everything is starting to blend together and kind of look the same, like t-shirts, pullovers, denim, army, it's like, ugh. I wanna see something different, something that's like unique, honey. Mickey, what are you doing? I have no idea what the store is, but it looks cute. Like stickers, oh, they have Pokemon. <gasps> Ooh, okay, okay, I see you. Oh my God, Tokyo Revengers, Pokemon, Chainsaw Man, My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, they have it all, girl. Even Naruto, yes. I just had so much fun in that store, and I realized I like shopping for friends and family and like buying souvenirs rather than myself. But anyway, we're gonna finish this area and maybe grab a bite. I'm getting tired, y'all, I need to rest. Ooh, honey, this place is called Rainbow. Okay, I already see a rainbow. I don't know how I feel about color lately. Like if it's like muted and like kind of neutral, sure. But if it's like super neon, I don't know, girl. But ooh, honey, I can see why they call it Rainbow now. It's a literal rainbow in here. Okay, I think this is going to be the last store that I hit up. It's called the Flamingo. There's a literal flamingo. And I have heard about this on TikTok and stuff. So high hopes, closing act. Let's do it. Ooh, girl, this place has fun selections, like the textures, the colors. I'm living for it, wow. This is what I'm talking about, girl. Like, this is unique, but it's not too out there because it's just a freaking houndstooth pattern, and it's red. It can give cowgirl, but it could also give, like, classy because it's houndstooth, not gingham. There's a difference. This one is just a tad bit small on me. Oh, and this one is just a bit too oversized to be either a shirt, jacket, or dress. Maybe this is a dress. <gasps> With a belt? I think it's too big and poofy. This is cute for like the springtime. I love the scallop detailing. I love the eyelet detailing, the color. <gasps> I literally saw the girl next to me pick it up and I was like in my head, you better put that down girl. And she put it down. And then I snatched it and it fits like it looks so good on the shoulders and everything and it's like the right amount of cropped Yeah, this is gonna be a pass. It's a bit too snug on me and the texture is just not as comfortable as I thought Girl just when I thought I was done there is a second floor. Oh my goodness. This place is amazing I think why I like this store so much is that it's maybe more curated like everything is cute low-key Also, I think for me is that I need options and so they have so many different things like freaking denim like overall dresses I've seen a lot of Japanese people layer that's like their thing here is layering and so I kind of want to try it out for myself I'm scared I might look like a little girl or something but it's okay this whole solo trip is about trying new things and stepping outside of your comfort zone that's how you grow evolution first denim overall dress is on I'm not sure how I feel about this feel like too many buttons going on maybe that's the issue this is the other one I like the wash of this much more and it's shorter but something about it almost feels like a bib like an apron like I'm in pottery class or something I think it's the neckline and the lack of 
pockets and detailing right here. We have this linen skirt. I like the color. Okay, we got some slits. I didn't realize there were like details right there. I don't mind it. Y'all, we got the goods. That was a success. I'm glad we saved the best for last. I'm tired now. I'm gonna grab a bite and then we can do a little haul. Y'all, I just stumbled upon this place. I'm so happy. I have yet to have any like cute or aesthetic food. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. Truly living the Japanese experience. I got milk tea, no boba, but anyway, bone apple tang. This is so good, y'all. I think the whipped cream is like caramelized or something, and so there's like that extra hint of sweetness that is just, mm, chef's kiss. Y'all, I feel recharged. I just needed food, some water, and to sit down. So maybe we can step into one more thrift store. Y'all, I lied. I'm still shopping. The stores just are never ending. I don't know why, but they just keep popping up out of nowhere and I can't resist now that I have my energy back. The fitting rooms in this little thrift market, I just realized, is so small, but what do we think of this? It's like risque business. It's kind of cool, it's kind of different. Not sure I feel about the polka dots. I almost feel like I don't need it because I could always wear like a freaking white button up in a tie myself. Also, BTS is playing in the background. Not the kachow skirt, oh my goodness. I think this spot is called Smog. Really cool, it's like a bunch of little mini shops spread out in this little area and you can just like shop a little bit of everything. Y'all have no idea the ordeal that I had to go through yesterday. I had to just call it a day and save the haul for today because I basically left one of my shopping bags at the pancake shop and I had to run back all the way from my hotel and grab it again. Thank goodness everyone here is so nice. Nobody steals in Japan and so I did call just in case but um, yeah, it was still there and I got my goodies and now I can do a haul. So the first thing I saw was a rugby shirt. I was so drawn to this because one of my favorite colors is pink and I was already wearing a green one which is already my other favorite color and I was like, do I need it? No. Does it make me look like a frat guy? Yes. But I'm already wearing one so clearly I like it but I also liked how the back had green on it, so there you go, my Cosmo and Wanda moment. This is from the brand Tommy Hilfiger, and I believe it was like about 30 USD, so not too bad. Next up, I went to this vintage shop, which had stuff from like the 60s, 70s, and it was super like girly, flirty, frilly, whimsical. That stuff is cute, but I feel like it's a little too out there for me, and I wouldn't wear it that often, and so I found this top, though. It's like this mesh, sheer, lace situation top. You can see there are like little daisy flowers on them, but I thought this would be so cute in the summertime because it's kind of like airy, so it's breathable. Um, it's like cropped and it's black, like you can't go wrong with that, but it's like a nice detail and touch to it. The last thrift store that I got things from is from Flamingo. I personally love that one. That one was my favorite. I got the most out of it and had the most fun shopping at it and had the most selections. The first thing I saw was this top and a girl in the store was holding it and she was like, oh, kawaii and I was like, oh, it is kawaii, but she put it back, and I was like, well, let me grab it real quick, and then I tried it on, and it fit, and it looks so good, and I love, like, the eyelet detailings, the scallop detailings, and, like, the pistachio green color for the spring and summertime with, like, a skirt. Oh, it's so cute! Then I found this red and white houndstooth pattern button-up, and it's, like, cinches at the waist. Um, it's, like, a muscle crop situation. I don't know. It was just so different but still wearable for me. Um, I also don't have much red in my closet, and so I thought, why not try it out? I also just realized all of my tops are button-ups with collars. Clearly, I know what I like, and so I don't regret any of it, but yeah, I thought this would be cute with denim. It could be almost like a cowgirl moment, even though it's not gingham, or you can like class it up and make it like maybe a Chanel-esque vibe. The last thing I got was this midi skirt. I love skirts. Literally, I only packed skirts and one pair of shorts this trip. Um, but I love this like pistachio green color for the spring and summertime. Um, and I also love how it was like linen-y. There's like a drawstring that you can tie in the center to, you know, have some detailing. I love how it has a slit on both sides. And it also, I saw, 
how I had like these little flowers on them. So cute. Proud of myself for only getting five things because I easily could have gotten a whole suitcase full of stuff. But I didn't. I wanted to save my money for maybe like vintage designer shopping or something because I'm kind of eyeing something as well. But that was my thrift haul and my thrift trip at Shimokitazawa in Japan. So I hope you enjoyed. But yes, I love you all so much. And remember everyone, to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye!